So the missile today takes compassion on us after standing during, throughout the reading of the Passion. And it says there must be a short homily. So it will be short. So today, through this liturgy, we begin our participation in the great drama <coughs> of the passion and death of Jesus this week. <coughs> we begin with this <coughs> entrance of Jesus uh, into the city. The Gospel of Luke is structured around the journey of Jesus from Galilee to Jerusalem for this week. And everything leads up to this week. And there are two things that stand out among all the details of the Passion according to Luke. The first is the extraordinary humility of Jesus. This was a feature of his whole life, and so it's not surprising that it comes very much to the fore in this last week of his human life on earth. He humbled himself, as we heard in the second reading, and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. But every detail in the story of the Passion in all the evangelists contain hidden meanings and depth which we may not at first be aware of. So the marvelous story about the donkey is obviously a sign of humility, riding on a donkey. <laughs> but it also refers back to the installation of Solomon, who also was put on a donkey to ride to his coronation as king. And the little detail about the people spreading their clothes before Jesus refers back to the coronation of Jehu in the Old Testament, when it says the people of Israel took their clo cloaks and spread them under him. And it refers forward to the fact that we should spread not our clothes, but ourselves under the reign of God, under the kingdom of heaven. That we should also share this humility and simplicity and the fact that he went through this whole week uh, quietly, without resisting, but in humility and gentleness, not shouting back, not fighting back, not hitting back, even restoring the ear of the servant whom Peter had disabled during the incident in the Garden of Gethsemane. So that's the first big lesson for all of us as we go through this week, to do so humbly, gently, quietly, and peacefully. The second is, of course, the question of recognition of Jesus. It was his disciples who acclaimed him as he rode down that famous hill to enter the city of Jerusalem. It was a Jerusalem over which Jesus had wept himself because they had not recognized the time of the visitation. They had not recognized who Jesus was and why he was among them. But the disciples of Jesus, who accompanied him from Bethany into the city, it was they who acclaimed him. Blessed is the king 
who comes in the name of the Lord. And in the other Gospels, Hosanna to the King who comes in the name of the Lord. And Luke adds a phrase that is more associated with Christmas. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And so it's an extraordinary mixture of suffering and glory. And we know that the glory will triumph. So we pray as we enter this week for humility and gentleness of heart. Jesus, gentle and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. And we pray, secondly, that we may recognize the significance of these holy days and that we may keep in mind the purpose of them to set us free from all the limitations of sin, to clear the world, the world of sin and evil. And it is a job that is still going on. May we recognize him as our Saviour and our Redeemer. Amen. <laughs>